Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to create a logical volume and then mount it as a like directory on your machine so that you can use it and kind of use it as like a separate kind of like volume outside of like your root boot volume because um, this is kind of a good use case and this is a preparation for my uh, next video essentially is I'm going to create a young repository service. So I want to keep all my packages on a separate uh, volume than what my boot volume is in case for the fact of, you know, I end up max maxing out my volume. So then if I max out that volume, it doesn't affect my boot volume itself. Um, so that, you know, you essentially don't just randomly crash your machine. Um, so your OS volume, being separated from like your volume, other volumes makes it really nice to kind of make sure, hey, you don't accidentally destroy your your OS volume um, by just essentially having it max out at a given time. And then you're like, well, now I need to like start deleting or even get in and then have to like mod to a different VM so that you can actually delete stuff and, and get all that. So it kind of gets that confusion all over the way. So essentially that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy my content and wanna sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So let's get started guys. All right, so I have a VM spun up already. So we essentially got our VM, but what we'll do is create, uh, add a hard drive to this. So we will edit settings here for this and we will add a new hard disk in here and we'll put it at 500 gigs. We'll make sure it's thin provisioned um, because I know I'm not gonna use 500 gigs, but just for example's sake, um, we'll add a disk that is 500 gigs and then we will say okay to that. So then it will reconfigure the machine, queued and completed. So now that that is completed, we can SSH to our machine. Root at 162.61.59. And we can do an F disk less. Um, we might actually maximize this so you can actually see everything. So we got our normal hard drive, that's 40 gigs into our boot and um, OS volume here, pretty pretty normal. And then we got our 500 gig disk over here. Um, so what we'll do is, and I'll F disk um, dev SDB. So um, note that the disk name is dev SDB here, right? So that's, that's why we're using dev SDB. So dev SDB, um, so with this, you can look through all the utilities. There's a few things here, but what we'll do is Add a new partition. So we'll hit N. Um, it's just the primary, default primary, default one. We'll just hit leave everything run. So this will essentially create a partition that uses utilizes the whole space here. And then what we'll do is change T, um, the partition type. So T, and then you can list all the hex codes. Um, what we're going to do is actually do eat E. Um, and then W for write and quit. So now if we were to do an F disk, disk list, we can see um, now that there is a partition for this. So now that we got a partition, we want to um, create a physical volume. So we go do PV create dev SDB one. So the device name is dev SDB one. We're gonna create that. So hit that. And the physical volume is created here. Okay, so now that we have that physically created, we will create a volume group. So VG, create, and then we'll name the volume group like VG repos. Um, and then we'll reference that volume group to use the dev SDB1 uh, physical volume. So if you were to do like a VG display, volume group display, you can see we got our OL for Oracle Linux. A volume group for our OS and we got our VG repos for this that has the volume size of 500 gigs. So now that you have a volume, um, what we need to create uh, a physical volume, now we need to create the logical volume from it. So we'll do LV create and, um, and then and it ends for name. So we'll just name it volume and repos and then L and we'll do 100% free, which will means it will you utilize any any free space on that physical volume. So you you can create multiple logical volumes in one physical volume and set, specify specific sizes. In this case, which can use the whole physical volume, and we'll and then we just do the volume, which is the volume group repos. So I created. Um, so now if we do an LV display, we can see that we have 
up here, our logical volume group that uses our volume group um, and logical volume in here, and it is 500 gigs. So now that you got a logical volume, the next thing that you need to do is actually set the type um, so that essentially the system knows what kind of type it is. Um, so in this case, what we do is mkfs.xfs. So we're going to create a XFS file system type. And then we will reference this over here, the logical volume group path as the parameter and we'll hit that. So it will essentially write, create all the things that it needs and then we should be set. So now the logical volume, all the volume stuff is squared away, but what we want to do is actually mount it so that it actually is part of a directory that is mounted, right? So what we do is go to FS tab here and you can see how like our root and our swap volumes are mounted. So root is mounted to slash. Um, so what we will do here is um, we're going to grab the same thing that we had before. So the dev VG repos, uh, volume repos, which was the logical volume group. We will mount it to slash repos. Um, and it's an XSF. And then we'll just leave the same thing here. So essentially you copy everything that's right here, but you replace it with your new logical volume and then the location you want it to be at. So, oh, oh. Oop. What we'll do here is now we'll make the directory uh, repos uh, slash repos. Sorry, because the, the the directory needs to exist. So if we do a df slash h, we can see everything that's mounted, right? Um, so you can see that we got the dev mapper or eight mounted to slash, but we don't have the other thing mounted. So, but we added it to our sf tab. So we'll do a mount hyphen a, and now if we were to do it, we can see that our new volume, that's 500 gigs, is mounted to slash repos. So essentially, now if I max out slash repos, it will only max out this logical volume and won't max out my OS volume. So essentially, if I need to delete things, I can still use the machine as the machine um, and then essentially navigate whatever is in this directory. Um, so it's a great way to kind of separate, you know, applications or services on a different uh, logical volume so that you know it won't accidentally like fill up with like log files or something and essentially make it impossible to like log back in because you essentially max out your OS volume. So that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.